Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi and today we're playing Motorsport Manager. We are in Cape Town for the Grand Prix South Africa round 11. This is the final race of the season and uh, it is raining so we're just trying to get the setups going. Managed to nail handling straight away with Cruz. Now we've got the uh, speed balance as well. So I'm very happy to see both of those and a little bit more downforce i'm just trying to think where i want this downforce basically i think if i go there and then come back down right something like that that should nail me on the two excellence once more and that was good that's great so now i've got a little bit of an idea where do i want to go i want to go somewhere around here i think so is that going to be like 0.5 maybe let's just nudge into 0.6 see if that does it then for cruise i'm hopeful that's all excellence which is going to be a really really good place to be and We've also got Rodriguez in with a decent setup already. I see good, great, poor. Now up to excellent, great, good. So I think I want to come a little bit more oversteer. Not much, but a little bit. And then a little bit more top end speed. Not a ton, but just enough. Maybe somewhere around there. Maybe. That's a good jump for great to good. That's a good jump from good to probably great, not excellent. I'm poor there, yeah. So we might need a touch more over there, but I don't want to change things too much. I want to see what that comes back as. So let's get these boys out then. So we're going to set up for them to both come straight back in. And uh, quite an interesting track, this. A lot of sort of bits and pieces, a lot of curves, a lot of changes in the, uh, in the track. It's kind of a fun one. Speed balance is right on the money, so Rodriguez is going to pull into this end building here. And we get to see excellent, great, great. That's pretty much what I was expecting there. But even though we're still at 95%, so I'm thinking that handling there needs to be right at the end of that. Because we've definitely improved the speed balance. And by doing that, we have to move a little bit more oversteer. So I think we might just do that. And that could get us excellent in handling. And all I've got to do is decide on the speed here. Because that's good. That's great. Just that little touch. I mean, can we go a little bit more? We can't. Not really. Um... You know what, we'll just send Rodriguez out on that, see if I can get that handling up to excellent, and we'll keep the speed balance where it is in that case. If that's how we're doing. Let's just make sure he's on attack overtake, and yeah, it's going to continue raining quite heavily. Excellent, excellent, great. Not quite the three I wanted, but uh, close. Like, really close. So I just need to pull that speed balance back then. Just a tiny little bit more speed balance. 
Yes, just to the right of the P instead of just to the left. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. That's enough of a change. I mean, really, I could just do it on this, couldn't I? Okay, that's not going to go on to wet, so... Now we need to get that race trim up, so let's get them going out for a long time. New sets of intermediates for crews. And we're just bringing in Rodriguez and seeing what we can uh, we can ascertain from this new setup. Let's go on low mix. Let's get the tire temperatures up a little bit. Excellent, excellent, great. That's about all I could have hoped for. So 97%, I'm happy enough with that, so let's just send you out now on a new set of Inters and get you going as well. So where are you? You're just about to come to this fun section, so... There we go. Let you go on your flying lap. And then we're going to warm up Rodriguez as we get the race trim level 2. Let's get those tyres going. A little bit of extra fuel around this section here. And then kick you on early so you can come down this lap and start off quite well. So a little bit of traffic here for Cruz. That's going to hold him up a bit, which means this lap isn't going to be phenomenal. He's already up into sixth. And he avoids that traffic, so now he's going to be... Staying in sixth, I think we'll run him out for one more lap on that point. And Rodriguez as well hit a lot of traffic, it seemed. If Rodriguez can just come past there. We got lower level three. That's great stuff. So where's Rodriguez going to come? Has he got any chance whatsoever here? Not really. So, interesting. I think we're just going to bring them both in because we're not going to be able to do a fast lap. We will at the end, though. Look at that. The rain is going down, so we'll be able to run on super softs if we're clever enough here, or ultra softs, whatever we've got. Let's get him in. Excellent, great, great. So not what I expected there. It's not what I wanted. So both of them need to be up a tiny tiny bit I mean really that's the excellent there that's the excellent there I mean That might be enough. That might be enough. So how much we got left? Ooh. Let's go for six laps just so we can push right to the end. Where's the... Where's the water? So what have I done here? So I went... I went like that, didn't I? Yeah. So down one suspension and tire pressure. Okay, twenty one sixteen fifty. Twenty one sixteen fifty. Twenty one sixteen fifty. I want that water to be gone 
a little bit more. So I'll, I'll put out crews when we're at six minutes. In the meantime, we're just going to be bringing in Rafa and seeing what he can do there. Excellent, excellent, great. So not too bad then. Not too bad in terms of the setups. You know. I could possibly try and find that speed balance there. Possibly. Have I been up this end of it yet? I mean, it's great there. It's great there. So I want a little bit more, don't I? So I'm just wondering if that'll be enough. If not, we can always come back to this. 6.45. You know what? They'll be running quite well. They'll be running quite well on this. Um, car set, what was this? So 21, 16, 50. Let's go for a big set there on the ultra softs. Oh boy. So at the end of this outlap, we should be seeing them pretty much with a, a good set of tires for the conditions so i'm going to be pretty happy with that let's go overtake on you now rodriguez you come through there overtake oh, i went overtake on crew i did that the wrong way around so this isn't going to be a great run for rodriguez Cruz, however, might be in line here to take Paul on this lap. We're going to get Ultra Soft Tires level 1. Don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to get number 2. But Cruz there comes in first. Rodriguez is in fourth. Calvacanti and Rogers now are on their outlaps. This is where we start seeing what they can all do. But Rodriguez is going to come in here across the line and he does not improve and that is disappointing. That is disappointing. Cruz though absolutely flying down here at the moment. Nobody else is on these kind of tyres in these kind of conditions. Got 1 minute 20 to finish off ultra soft level 2 in case it doesn't rain. And I think we're about gonna do it here. Last 30 seconds. Cruz comes through there. Ultra soft level two. Let's watch Rodriguez go across the line then. Can he do anything here? An improvement on fourth? It is not. So <laughs> Rodriguez is slower than so many cars. Not the best. Cruz ends up quite well though. Level 2 Ultra Soft Tires right at the end of practice with Level 3 Race Trim. If it is going to be raining for the race, or I believe it might for part of the race, we will be taking that into account. However, Dufa there ran really, really well in the, uh, the intermediate conditions. That's not going to be great for us. So, we're going to figure out what that means. It looks dry for the start. Okay, so bright sun, then it's going to go back in there. It might rain later on, but I think it's probably going to stay dry. So I'm going to go ultra soft, and I'm going to go race trim, and just see how that works out for us. And that's why we nailed the setup once again with Cruz. He gets 99%, absolutely fantastic. New set of ultra soft for him. Eight laps, job done. Now we need to figure out how to do this. I mean, we just haven't figured out the speed balance with him. And I know where it needs to go, but I'm... It's around there somewhere, isn't it? I mean... 
don't want to mess that up too much so I think that's going to be the best set that we can put on Rodriguez might bring him in a lap early as well depending but uh, grid position ninth grid position first I mean not sure why but I'm glad that we've actually got someone on the front row of the grid um, could not tell you why though could not tell you why that so let's see then El Sadat shouldn't be too much of a problem then Bele then Maury hopefully he gets held up at the start Costa's right up there though that's not good for us that's not good for us but Rodriguez is ahead of Dufa and Stromby that is great news so it depends if we can get anything going here at all pause it on five red lights get my view set up wow so finicky so finicky um but yeah ugh. I'm kind of nervous now. The last race. Hopefully it does not rain. We are not set up for rain. Cruz with an absolutely terrible start. El Sadat will go up into first place. That opens up Dembele as well. Down the inside. And there goes Valdez. Liao is going to probably come through as well. And Rodriguez with a much better start there. So. Ah. Oh, not great. But Cruz now may be able to fight back a little bit as we come across here El Sadat, Dembele and then sadly Costa in the top three right now so let's see what we can do we're up to fourth and eighth at the moment which isn't too bad for Rodriguez he's down to ninth and I think it's going to be push for now keep those tyre temperatures in a good place push high push high safety car should you come into the pits that's a question that is a question I mean oh I mean, Cruz is the one I'm interested in seeing if he wants to be pitted or not. Depends. If these front runners are going to come in, maybe we do as well. Maybe we do as well. For now, let's go down to uh, medium neutrals. I think that's going to be fine. So watch what El Sadat comes in to do. In fact, yeah, back up low like everybody else. Let's just keep... El Sadat is not going to come into the pits. Okay. So I think conserve and low just to keep the tyre temperatures up might be a decent option. Do I want to come in with you? Oh, let me think about this. This is lap four, so we've got 15 laps to go. So the tyres would last. The tyres would probably last there. Um, yeah, and we can do eight laps of fuel, so that's 16. I don't think this lap, but when the safety car is out, it might be worth doing. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try it with Rodriguez because, I mean, there's, there's no reason why not, to be honest with you, right now. Looks like everybody else is going to avoid the pit lane. We're going to finish up back of the pack here. And that is absolutely fine.
absolutely fine. Everybody else is bunched up. Rodriguez is going to have a chance here then to go. So what about now with Cruz? Oh, big decision, big decision. So if I pull Cruz in now, we'll have both of them at the back of the lap, but everybody else will have to pit. We'll have more fuel. We'll have, we'll have what it takes. We've got to come in twice. We've got to come in twice. So I might as well come in now, try and make it worthwhile to get Cruz and Rodriguez set up under this safety car while the safety car is in play. Mistake on the fueling. Come on, guys, please. And there we go. 16th place for Cruz. Look, he overtook us. You can't do that. The safety car was out. We came out just ahead of Arnanen. So we're going to be there. Safety car is going to head to the garage. As soon as our safety car starts pulling away, I'm going to pause this. And we're going to see what happens. But our tyre temperatures, here we go. I think we're going to start going now. So I think i got to go attack overtakes here. So let's see what we can do then. Rodriguez and Cruz down at the back of the grid but with a chance now to really push on through and pick up some positions, especially when people come into the pits. It's all backed up. We're going to go round these people who are a bit slower than us around the back end, pick up some of these positions that we lost out on, and we'll pick up positions in the by passing people in the pits over the last few sort of laps here. Let's go down push and push wow safety car has gone Diaz Diaz has absolutely wrecked themselves Diaz has absolutely wrecked themselves let's cool those tires down here come some of those pits but we're not going to pick up as much as we wanted just because of the way everything has been or are we because we might not be on fresh tyres, but we can afford now to go low and low. We are actually first and second. And everybody else is pit as well. So, with us here with the safety car, is this going to work out for us? Is this going to be... Is this going to be as good as I hope it will? We've got an entire lap here of saving fuel and everything. Let's just make sure those tyre temperatures don't fall too low on this lap around. Because we can push really hard now, get our last pit stop in. We've got clean air in front of everybody. We're first and second after everybody's pit once, thanks to the two safety cars. We were the only ones to pit on that first safety car. Let's get ready to go push high. And then you go, and you go, and oh, what a bad, bad thing there. Bad thing there. Mori coming away with a good position there, but, but we've got enough fuel in these cars to go around one more, and then we're going to be really sort of really having some fun I think so yeah I think we've got to come in now with you put the eight laps of fuel in gonna risk a fast and we got one more lap with Cruz before we come in with him I think Cruz is in a great place really really not sure though about Rodriguez so we're pitting in with Cruz we're gonna 
throw all that fuel in. We're going to risk a fast with him as well. So Rodriguez didn't pay off there. Did not pay off. So he's now going to be pushing quite a lot here. Crew's now starting to fall down. Crew's are starting to fall down. But everybody else has to come in for a pit. And we're going to get a mistake there. We are going to get that mistake. But I think now with Cruz, we can actually just push like hell. Rodriguez, I think, is going to be a bit more difficult to do so. So let's see how this works out then. So it's ninth and 10th so far. We're on faster tyres. Only Costa ahead of us has not pit yet. If I can manage Rodriguez's um, car a little better than I have been doing, then that's okay. So far, though, Cruz is probably in a good position here. He is up into second place. He's there behind Costa. And that's what we want to see. So can we go high? Do we go attack? I think we go attack now. And we just push all on here. And it looks like Rodriguez is going to be falling back down and down and down the order here. Doesn't look like there's too much he can actually do. I'm going to have to watch these... Uh, these fuel loads. Not a huge fan of where they are and, oh we're gonna lose out on third there because of that one we're actually gonna lose out on fourth as well come on Cruz get back up there get back up there I'm not sure if we've got enough here or not now to finish the race I don't think we have the fuel is just gonna come back and bite this here The fuel is going to come back and bite us. On the last race, there goes Stromby up into fourth. Cruz dropping down into fifth. We need something big here to get back in the top three. And I really don't believe that we're going to have any hope of that whatsoever. Cruz now is going to fall down to sixth, seventh, eighth. And the tumble has started here right at the end of the race. A good race that we couldn't quite get right. We had a great sort of chance to, to make up some early positions. We had crews at the start of the grid. We had that early, early safety car where we could get the undercut. Sadly, we had a second safety car far too soon. We did move to the front, but we didn't gain the advantage. So, very unhappy about that. Costa takes it. Stromby takes fourth. Ozo will take the Constructors' Championship. The big question now is, Costa or Stromby, which one is the Drivers' Championship going to? 20 points double to 40 for Costa. And that would be 17 points double to 34. Was Costa within six of Stromby? I am not sure. I think he was five behind. I think Costa might have taken this. I think he might have taken it by a point. No rules broken. And there we go. Maury takes the double point there. And Costa's been demoted for a bad part. That means Stromby is going to be the driver's champion. And yes, I think if, if he hadn't got demoted there, he fell four places. That's eight points. But he also pushed Stromby up by two doing it. So that's a total of 10 point swing. He would have won the championship. Wow. He would have won the championship. Garuda take two on the uh, on the race weekend. I think Silva might have outdone us as well. They have. Look at that. 
Silver by a point. We fall down to fourth in the championship. Not what we wanted at all there, but that's a, a disappointing end to the season. A very disappointing end to the season. But I'm, I feel good about what we did, and yeah. We couldn't quite get what we wanted at times. We, you know, a little bit unlucky. But with a competitive car, we would have been much, much better. And I've just got to see if that works out for us next season. But Rafa there finishing off with bad, bad races. Apparently we came seventh in the race results. I don't see how. I don't see how at all. Oh yeah, because I was looking at the com oh, I was looking at the championship. Yeah, for the race we came seventh. And that's gonna put us 1.2 million down. And that's gonna suck. So at Dubai. Aki Lippinen takes the win from Holtz and then Chapman. With a sharp by two points for Panther takes the world championship. Steinman with a big lead take the team constructor championship there. Near the Pacific, it's at Phoenix, Arizona. They finish up with Esteban Riero, uh, Ribeiro from Jessica Monroe and then Matthias De Wolf. And uh, Ribeiro does indeed take the championship for Villan with Monroe in second with teammate uh, Almeida from McNeil. But Villan just get enough. Sunquist's 12 points is just enough, the 12 points to add to Ribeiro's 91, to move McNeil down into second place. That is crazy. Also there, one and two in the drivers. And yeah, that sucks. It sucks majorly. As we drop down to fourth place. World champion in the ERS, Nicolas, Nicolo Strambi. Not a great driver. We can do that. We can get people like that. That's what hurts. Costa. Costa would have been a good driver for us, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded Costa at all. I wouldn't have minded Costa at all. So Costa and Rodriguez, I think, would be a very, very good set of drivers for us. It's not going to be the way things go then. So, not the best. Let's get our interview here. He wants... Uh, he wants him gone. So let's just have a little bit of faith there. And the contracts are running down. Cruz, Kelly, Gosselin and Parker. Got it. Yeah. So, we're down in the money. We're working hard to try and get the parts all fitted up before the new season. Uh, the HQ is being built, of course, that test track, which will get us level 3 engine, which will be nice. And we've got a big decision to make on crews. Do we go elsewhere? If we can pick up someone else like Rodriguez, I'll be happy there. Frederick Kelly he can't design suspensions, but apart from that, he's really good for this level. I really like Goslin and I really like Parker right now. So I think they'll be re-signed. We're gonna just see what we can do. I'm gonna go and try and tie up some of these contracts, get things done. But uh I'll see you back here guys for season three, where I gave myself one season to put things together one season to build and in the third season I wanted to challenge I think we hit season one season two fairly well but this is now the time where we need to step up with a good car so 
Next year is a big, big year for Predator. Thanks for watching, being a part of this series. Come watch me take over the ERS next year and see what changes I've made. Have your say in the comment section below, though. What do you think of this season, the progress we've made, and just kind of, you know, do you want Cruz? Do you want someone else, you know? Do we need someone like Rodriguez? Do we need to change up some things here and there? Have you got, you know, even a livery that you want us to roll out next season? Let us know in the comment section below, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back here very soon.